morning there folks. This is, uh, this is Luke Crocker of the Classical Martial Arts Research Academy. I'm just doing a probably prolonged uh, update in regards to the long-standing uh, translation of Fujita Seiko's Hojo Jutsu. Good God that's been put off for literally four and a half years now, like October 2012. Um, so I've, uh, I've been tied up through all sorts of things throughout the years. This isn't excuses, this is reasons. Um, the, the latest being is that I worked in a freaking 24-hour call center and it was soul-sucking to say the least. So the last thing that was happening outside of that was getting on this. But as of this Monday, that is two days ago, um, I actually put in my resignation for that and, uh, and I'm, so I'm no longer there or with a day job for that matter <laughs> but uh, but what this is doing now is of course giving me more time to actually sit down and focus on this darn project and uh, and so here I am and yeah sweet deal excuse me and uh, yeah so what we're looking at here today is uh, this is day two of me working full-time on this project again for the past probably two years now, it's been about 40% done, and that's because I did the first handful of, uh, uh, of chapters mostly focused on history, and, uh, and of course focused on um, uh, things like length, rope, diameter, so on and so forth. Um, so yesterday I sat down and I crunched through another chapter. Um, at the rate that I can sit down and do this for, it's very realistic, if not easy, to buzz through a chapter per day. So we're looking at like a, uh, you know, the, the book could be done in less than a month at this point. Uh, again, I was at 40% done um, a couple of years ago. Uh, as of yesterday, the chapter I threw together was a very large chunk of, of text, sweat, and running around. And, uh, and so that places us at about 50% done now, give or take a couple, couple, uh, singular percentiles and um, yeah today's uh, today's chapter seems to be on uh, uh, on the long rope and it's it's basically detailing some of the actual like um, the what should I say the technical how-to of certain ties like I just finished one for uh, Jumonji Nawa and uh, oh, that lighting and Jumonji Nawa is um, in this particular case, it's just a sort of like cross pattern tie. It's nothing really fancy, but the uh, the particular um, description for it was a rather sizable paragraph, just detailing the actual steps. It's one of the few uh, rope resting ties. Uh, technically, it's not an arrest, but it's a good example actually of uh, of how with the hone now with the with the the longer rope. In this case, a seven fathom rope. Uh, which for me would be like 30 some odd 40 feet uh, 5 fathoms for me is 28 feet almost to the inch so 7 fathoms that's like 2 more arm spans for me um, this particular uh, tie is a nice example where with the length, long rope it doesn't start at the wrist and go up from there because it's not an arrest tie it's a tie you would apply when you're already uh, got them arrested um, and so this one actually starts around the neck um, and then goes from there. Goes uh, you know, like around the neck, a tie right at the uh, the atlas vertebrae, another one midway down the section. Then you trap the arms, and you go down and do something fancy with the wrists. So that's cool. And there's about I don't know. I'm looking at it here. Oops. Da book. Uh, let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, yeah, about 15 ties that have long-winded descriptions to them, a paragraph each, and this looks to be all technical layout, but what's interesting here is that this particular chapter, which it starts off with the 15 descriptions, 15 paragraphs, um, with headers in the nines, and then, uh, and then it shows the illustrations for each one and the corresponding, um, the corresponding title, so what's going on there is uh, basically you get the descriptions and then you can see the ties themselves. And this I think, and I'm not done this chapter, I'm not even done reading this chapter, let alone translating. I'm kind of going it as I go at breakneck speeds as I can. Uh, 
and this particular uh, oh, volume's a bit high. This particular uh, chapter, I think, will set some of the standard on how you you apply certain ties for these sorts of things. So that's kind of um, that's kind of exciting in my mind because again, when you're dealing with these sorts of things, where for decades now we haven't had much in the way of proper traditions that still teach this, and the ones that do don't teach it uh, openly. Like, I mean, if you're signed up to uh, to Good Karma's um, uh, Patreon account, you can actually see uh, some examples of, uh, uh, sorry, um, Hojo Jitsu uh, Honnao in particular. Uh, not high enough, it's not an arresting tie. These guys are in a submissive position already, and then they're being tied. Um, but yeah, you can actually see some of Takenoichi's uh, uh, Hojo Jitsu, which is. I haven't seen a lot of demonstrations at all by any established koryu, um, so that's it's pretty cool. I've mostly dealt with scrolls, in which case I've now got 30, 32, 34 I think, 32 or 34 scrolls on hojojutsu from various traditions, but to see them demonstrated, man, to see them demonstrated, that's pretty cool. Um, I recommend following his stuff there. He puts out some really cool stuff. If nothing else, his uh, the live performances that that he records in person. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, so in any case, back to that. I think this chapter will set a sort of standard for that, um, at least in the order of how certain ties are done and, and that sort of thing. And so that's that's the chapter I'm working on today. It'll be lots of fun in a... Okay, that much dense technical text does get pretty monotonous, but Again, I think the importance of it uh, really pushes through on that. Um, yeah, so what else is there? Da, 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 da. Yeah, a big thing yesterday. Uh, I wanted to make a video about this yesterday. I'll see about doing videos uh, each day, maybe, most of the days. Um, yesterday, I was really struggling with laying out some of the text because I need to... Oh, no, okay, no. Needs a big thing. I want to be able to use proper footnotes, in notes, and headers in order to index both footnotes and endnotes as well as a table of contents. I've concluded I'm going to have to do the table of contents manually. Uh, I do like Microsoft Word's um, way they handle it, but the way I was juggling around some of the images, it was not going to behave or populate properly. Um, and so I decided to use tables and then make them invisible, which has made things way cleaner. Um, it standardized my approach to handling the images and uh, and at this point it means that once I established that, I spent the better part of yesterday brainstorming on how I was going to juggle this stuff and once I had established that then uh, I then boom I buzzed through the last five pages like nothing. It's a 15 page chapter which is pretty nuts <laughs> but, um, but yeah so that that really sort of fixed things up there. Now I can buzz through this next chapter once I get through the blocks of text then I can just buzz, 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 buzz right through it. And uh, and voila, there's another chapter done. This one's a 12-page chapter, I think. 12 page? 10 pages. That's a 10-page chapter. Now, um, the, the Japanese text in the original is spaced out a little bit bigger than I personally use, so this chapter will probably be... Uh, what? We've got six pages of images. Those are... Oh, excuse me, my nose is dry. Um, those six pages, they're immutatable. They're not uh, They're not going to be bigger or smaller. It's four illustrations a page, a little bit of description here and there. Um, but yeah, the first four pages are all dense text, and so, uh, again, that's the slow part, but I think that's going to be the important part. Um, amusingly, the most important stuff in this entire book has been the text itself, um, of which I honestly can't believe it hasn't been translated yet. I know Don Rowley's discussing, uh, he mentioned on his Facebook page translating this, in which case, that gave me a bit more urgency too, uh, some friendly competition if you will, uh, though I'm not competing with him, but uh, uh, but yeah, no, it still blows me away. I've now come across nearly, I think, eight or nine different groups, teams, or individuals that have wanted to translate this themselves, and they all drop it. They all drop it, and so somewhere in there I told myself I wasn't going to. If it takes me, you know, three years, five years, a decade, I'm going to get it done. Well, at this point it's been, what, four and a half years? Uh, okay, <laughs> I think I need to get that done. Um, so, yeah, that's the update there. Um, 
Now, that being said, this is my full-time job, if you will, right now. Um, I did quit that last job because of the, the degree of, uh, uh, of just toxic workplace everything. I needed to quit it for my own personal health, and I quit it without much of a plan. So, um, anybody that, uh, that wants to contribute to this project, um, I really, really, really appreciate it. It's going to be making it possible in the later stages. I mean, at this point, I've got a couple days to really sit down and throw at it, but without any income at all, uh, I have to juggle some other stuff, and that's going to take time, that's going to take energy, um, but I really want this book out, and I know there's a lot of people that, that also want it out. Uh, the people I've distributed the table of contents to, just that alone has helped them. Uh, it's given them some lexicon with which to work. So, I mean, I think this will be really helpful for a lot of people. And, uh, and yeah, if you want to uh, help out with the project at all, uh, particularly financial contribution is a big, 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 big thing, then, uh, like, I need, I need internet to, uh, to post videos like this. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if you want to contribute to it, I do still have my old GoFundMe page. Uh, I do also have PayPal, of course. Uh, if you know me in person, then please, by all means, help out. I do also have um, uh, rope, rope in stock for Hojujutsu, or if you're into Shibari, that's also a thing. I do have it classically conditioned. And, um, and yeah, so I've got stock of, uh, of stuff to sell as well. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of that, by all means, get in contact with me and we'll sort that out. Um, but yeah, GoFundMe page, PayPal link, and, uh, and my, ropes, my uh, rope shop on Etsy will all be in the description here. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for bearing with me for 12 minutes, my long-winded, sometimes pedantic uh, ramblings. And, and uh, yeah, I hope we get this done, good God, this month. Alright, cheers, party on guys.